So hello guys, I'll be showing you a demo of the template feature that I've been working on. So basically I've prepared a set of tests here. So basically some related to document images, then database, then with two databases and a deep database test. So we'll look into them one by one. So these are the tests. So firstly, let's see the document one here. I have structured them in a grid in a layered manner. So you can see we have doc2 and inside that we have 2.1. We have one inside that we have 1.1 so let's export it so for exporting you have to select the document go to the share and select the template feature and right now i've added a breakpoint sorry for that and that is exported as you can see to import it into the document i've created another page here so let's import it click on the plus and select the template feature here and select pick from system so it is saved into the documents folder as template.zip so let's import it and we have the document here so we can now test it so we can see we had a doc1 doc2 and then we had nested doc1.1 and doc2.1 so that works nice so basically the document text is done right next we will have the images one so let's go images and let's see what we have here so basically we have an online image and a local image so let's export this document so basically we'll go to the share and template and it's exported let's see the export here so basically we can see in the template we have a image so basically one was the local and the other was digital one so uh, online one so i can show that to you as well you can see that one is online which is the url here and another one is the offline one so basically we have extracted it so let's now import it Let's go to the imports and let's template. So it is stored as template.zip, you know it. It will automatically override if it pre-exists. So basically now we have imported it. We can see that this was the page and inside it we have this. So yeah, it works. Next, let's test databases, right? So let's see what we have in databases. We have a document. We do also have a reference grid, okay? So this is a reference to this. And we have a view of the grid. Okay, so let's export it. Let's see. So we will export it and it will be exported as template. Let's import it from the system and as template.zip. We have exported it. So this is the feature, and we can see that the grid has been imported. And we can also see that view also has been imported correctly. And it is a reference grid indeed, right? And let's see yeah so here also it is working we can see that the reference is still intact so we can see that the reference grid is also working here next let's see the database 2 so basically we have two databases and we have a document that is using both of them okay so let's export this same feature like same uh, let's import and we can see the template.zip and it is imported so here we have it db2 grid now let's see what we have yeah we do have two grids and we do have views of them as well so that's good and we can see that we also have the reference maintained correctly so yeah that's good lastly we have a deep test so basically this consists of a tree like let's say level 1 level 2 level 3 at level 3 we have a reference and then we have the last document with another reference so basically we have two views of the same database so let's see if that works and we also have a deep nest right so that should also work let's see we'll export it and let's import it now pick from the system and template also so it is imported this is the deep test we do have level one we do have level two we do have the level three with the import right so this is a referenced import we will see it and here we have the grid right and we have two views just said we had here we had two views here also we have two views one is used in this one as you can see in this one we have a view and then the second one is in the this one level three as discussed one was in level three and then another one was inside it so this also works fine so so yeah i wanted to add this that i've also added this feature to basically a sort of a marketplace so we have a 
list of predetermined uh, templates here so daily journal to do list resume we can add others here but these are just for display right now and we have a pick from system which i have shown you so let's see uh, i'll show you these also so in the predefined ones we have firstly the resume one so let's import it real quick so we have this uh, basic template for resume i have used here secondly we have the to-do list in to-do list we have nothing but the list of to-dos we could add a, a reference here reference grid here that we can do but currently this is just for uh, display and then we have daily journal this is also basic uh, basically i wanted to just show a few features of the marketplace like what it would be like so this is currently a dialog but this could be a big dialog uh, with a marketplace where we could fetch from the uh, uh, server after we could use a server that could be basically for databases uh, itself i mean the templates so yeah that is what i was working and pick from in this uh, video i've shown you all these tests so this all works currently in this feature and thanks a lot for watching